That's right, this upward movement is insanely powerful and uh, so far we don't see any signs of a top nearby. So in this video, we're gonna look at the indices, we're gonna study some stocks and I will try to answer some questions such as what to expect next that we are insanely bullish and uh, what to do if a correction materializes over here. Well, welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for your support because last week I was about to die, all right? And I couldn't record videos. It was one of the strongest codes I have ever caught in my life. And I really don't know where that plague came from because my wife is healthy as a horse and she took care of me during these days. She didn't catch anything. So it was clearly personal, all right? Clearly personal. It is still a mystery to me, but, uh, yeah, it was personal. Still, I'm feeling much better right now. So thank you very much for your support. And uh, what else? What else? Oh, yes. For those of you who want to boost your trading performance and get access to exclusive trading signals and strategies, join our Telegram channel. Let us scan the market for you and find the best opportunities around. You have seven days for free, for free, just to test our services and uh, so take a look at our website for more information the QR codes right here link in the fixed comment below all right finally are we good so let's start our analysis over here spy clearly bullish since our last analysis over here spy was uh, spy did a very nice upwards breakout of this resistance level 550 dollars which right now right now is supposed to act as a future support level for us in case a pullback materializes over here. Now you may ask, Nathan, what if SPY loses the, five, the 550 again? Well, in this scenario, I see SPY making a sharper correction, possibly to the $542 over here near the 21 MA on the daily chart, making this area a double support level for SPY. And this is it. As far as I know, we are still trading above the support level. We are still making very good bullish movements over here. And even if we see a short, a short term correction, well, any pullback to the $550 would be totally plausible and even expected. Because when we look at the one hour chart over here, the hourly chart looks insane. It is one of the most insane charts I have ever saw in my life because, because if you, if you count the number of bullish candlesticks over here, you will see that SPY made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen bullish candlesticks in a row. All right. I think I never saw 16 bullish candlesticks in a row on the one hour chart on SPY. All right. I think I never saw that. So if, if a short term pullback materializes, that's okay. That's totally all right. We already went up too much, too fast. Any pullback to the 21 MA on the one hour chart or maybe to the 550 would be totally normal in this circumstance. All right. This is not going to be reversal. In fact, as far as I know, since we are still in a bull trend, pullbacks would be opportunities to buy. All right. So, so far and so far, we don't see any top signal. Nathan, what if we see a bearish candlestick pattern over here? Well, that could be a possible top signal. All right. But uh, as long as SPY does not trigger a proper, a decent top signal, we are not going to see a pullback. We are not going to see a correction on the daily chart. All right. So although we see bearish candlestick over here so far, we can't count too much on that uh, as a very strong top signal suggesting a correction. All right. We got to see more confirmation in order to believe that SPY could actually drop to lower levels. The QQQ is also extremely bullish. It looks insanely, insanely healthy over here. This is a very healthy bull trend. Any pullback to the $486 would be 
normal, expected, not a reason to panic. And how this is gonna affect our stocks? When we look at Nvidia, for instance, going up nearly 2.5%, Nvidia is trying to reject the possibility of this head and shoulders chart pattern right we see a head we see the second the second shoulder over here which found a support level above the 21 ema the exponential moving average on the daily chart and uh it is going up right now by closing above 128 dollars we are gonna officially destroy this head and shoulders chart pattern structure over here suggesting that suggesting that no nvidia is not going to correct from here we are not gonna see a sharper correction on the weekly chart and uh, we're gonna maintain the bullish bias on the daily chart what's our next technical resistance level well, it's the all-time high, $140.76. And uh, if you ask me, I think NVIDIA is heading there right now. Tesla is uh, dropping 0.07% right now. It is still making a bullish, trying to make a bullish candlestick pattern on the daily chart. But uh, this reaction over here, if, we see, if this reaction starts, a pullback over here if we see a top signal getting triggered over here that's totally okay because well as far as i know tesla broke all of our main resistance levels it broke the 200 it broke the 187 it is right now heading towards the next technical resistance level at 265 dollars over here the previous top level from december 2023 so it is a very important resistance level for Tesla. And uh, we, last week, last week that I was sick, all right, coincidence, what a coincidence, just when I was sick, we saw Tesla going up 27%, 27.11%. That was an insanely bullish reaction. In one single bullish movement, we broke all of our main mid-term resistance levels and uh, if you ask me nathan is tesla a buy right now well after going up 27 percent i think it is a risky buy it would be risky buy near a resistance level over here i hate buying near resistance levels guys remember always buy near support levels sell near resistance levels buy near support levels why should i buy near support levels because the risk reward ratio is optimized near a clear support level. It is easier to set a very nice stop loss over here because always set stop losses, all right? Before, before placing a trade, always know where your target and where your stop loss is gonna be because if you don't set a clear stop loss, you are gonna screw yourself, all right? Literally, you, you are gonna screw because we are all, we are all vulnerable to biases, and uh, the loss aversion is one of the is one of the worst biases ever because we all we all love to make money. We all we all love earning money, but we hate losing money. And uh, as far as I know, we hate losing money more than we love making money. Just just read Daniel Kahneman's and uh, Amos Tversky's studies regarding the prospect theory we all hate losing money at least us twice as we love making money so since we hate losing money the stock market is the perfect place for us to well since i just lose money when i sell i'm not gonna sell and then you're gonna you're, you're gonna hold a losing stock until the pain is just too much and you're gonna see yourself forced to sell while you should have sold way way before that cutting your losses since the beginning so it is okay to lose to take small losses it is not okay to take bigger losses all right so always know where your stop loss gonna be before placing a trade all right now as we can see here Tesla and the Nvidia, they are insanely bullish. Tesla is far away from its support levels. If we see a pullback, we could see pullback, a very sharp pullback to the 21 MA on the daily chart, which is right now very close, very close to the 206 support level over here. But uh, guys, 
although it is gonna be a very sharp pullback, it is not gonna be an actual bearish reversal chart structure. Again, any pullback to a support level could be just another buying opportunity. So just let's just bear in mind these key points over here, these key support and resistance levels. Now, when we take a look at Palantir over here, going up 2.11%, we see Nathan. This one is making is making a hanging man candlestick pattern, right? Yes, it is a hanging man candlestick pattern, but as long as we don't lose, we don't lose this candle slow, it is not going to materialize a top signal over here. The $27.50 was my personal target, all right? I gave you guys this call over here, this buy signal, when Palantir was right here on our Telegram channel. Right now, we just hit our target. So, okay, target hit. I don't know what's going to happen next, but uh, all that I know is that as long as we don't trigger this top signal, Palantir is not going to trigger a sharper pullback. Could we trigger this top signal? Yes, we could, but so far we are not. We are still above the support level yet, so the situation is still under control. Palantir is supposed to maintain the bullish bias, even considering the possibility of a short-term pull back over here, all right? Now, when we take a look at AMD, just like Nvidia, just like other semiconductor stocks, AMD is going up nicely. We just broke this resistance level over here. And right now, if you ask me, what's AMD's next technical target? Is this resistance level over here? $187. That's where I see Nvidia next. Nvidia next. I'm so sorry. AMD next, even considering the possibility of a pullback to the 21 MA over here. Any pullback must be considered as another buying opportunity. Oh, and if you are still watching this video and you are not a subscriber, consider subscribing because I'm here every single day talking about the indices, talking about stocks. We are always studying, analyzing the market using state of the art technical analysis over here. So just join our channel, click the like button to support me as well. And uh, just take a look at our website, join the 5% project if you want to improve your trading performance. See you there, my friend. Thank you very much. See you guys tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye bye.